modeling based synthesis system called uh, Simful. It's based around the idea of creating orchestral patches. They also have some preset patches for Divisi and denser playing. So the way that those patches move around like that is very fluid and very easy to play. It's very uh, good feeling. You know, it's like it's not like a clunky patch. So here's the the real uh, important one: the violins. You got your double stops. And you also have all these abilities to adjust the subtle tonalities of the instrument, as well as the number of players, the spread of the number of players, the locations. And each time you're working with these different groups, you have the option to augment uh, their uh, attributes as well. And you also have these ability to include key switches. So you can do some tricky stuff on the fly. So here I can have one set of violins, and then I can add this additional set of violins. It's violins two. So that's just a little bit more, um, you know, that fullness to that sound. It's like a normal orchestra. And this reverb, I guess, is based around the idea of, you know, phys physical modeling the actual concert hall. So you know, you're keeping in touch with the way that the, the hall actually works. You've got some parameters here to mess with that. And then you also have some additional instruments that you can continue to layer on. Adjusting the mod wheel, I'm messing with the vibrato in this instance, but it looks like it has a, the quick ability to reset what effects uh, can be targeted to what expression uh, knobs or whatever. Very cool bassoon there. Let's get some horns. Oh, wow. How cool was that? Just a test, people. <laughs> Trumpet patches. They have a very good system for the um, uh, idea of making a dynamic patch so that it doesn't, s it's, it's, it's very playable right off the bat, and you don't even have to worry about the art articulation setup, which is nice because that's one of the tricky parts of getting a convincing uh, you know, performance. Cute, very cute. <laughs> There's some real good basses here. Let's increase the number. Nice. Flute, why not? You gotta hit that oboe. I know it's there. There it is. It's something about an oboe that's just so beauty inducing. I don't know what it is. It wants to make a melody, it really does.
English horn. Trombone. Let's hit up with some uh, larger number of players here for this. <laughs> Cool. All right, so we get the idea. This is a nice piece of uh, instrumentation here. It's available for free. Uh, there's so much you can do with this, and it's very uh, well optimized, right? So you can see it right all on the front page here. And then you have uh, you know, some deeper menus you can get into as well, so that's cool. Um, yeah, it's a great little system and a way to build an orchestra, like right in one one instance of a plugin, so you can do a bunch of stuff really quickly as well just to get an idea or to make mock-ups or whatever. Cool system.